It's been a busy year for Jennifer Hudson, a new album, managing a family and her philanthropy. Just after last year's toy drive, she made headlines after it got out that she had gifted her longtime assistant with a brand new home. <laughs> But giving isn't just for the holidays when it comes to the Hudsons. I caught up with Jennifer and her sister Julia at their back to school hatch day celebration in honor of Julia's late son, Julian, for his love of education. Jennifer's been around the world performing on TV and stage, raising spirits and awareness. And though the Oscar winner has earned almost every Hollywood accolade there is, the native Southsider has never forgotten her Chicago roots. Fans love her single, It's Your World, but one could argue that the world is still Jennifer's for the taking. And joining us now, Jennifer and Julia Hudson. Welcome Good back, you guys. Nice to have you here with us. Good to see you guys. It's I'm, good to be here. Is that where are you walking? Is that a street that we know that oh, we see you walking Julie, down? You could probably tell me which street that is better than I can. It was in the Schiller Park. Oh, it was. Yeah, right across from um, Prisker. Okay. So, did you ask when stuff like this happens? When a, song, a single comes out, can you say to your people, mm -hmm. "I want to shoot this in Chicago," mm -hmm. or do they tell you where to do it's it? It's not often I get to shoot in Chicago, yeah. so when I can, I'm, I'm I'm excited about it. But um, I felt this video should have been in Chicago because it just reminded me of, of my hometown, and I was like, "We have to do this in Chicago," and they let me. I've only done two videos here, which was "Walk It Out" and "Where You At." So what hopefully, we get a few more. Yeah. What, what have yeah. been some of your highlights of the year, Jennifer? I mean, it's you know we try to keep up with yeah, everything that you're yeah. up to. You have something major going on all the time. You know, I, every time I get asked that question, it's like, okay, there's so much going on. I right. don't know. But um, I did just get a Grammy nomination for It's Your World, so the Grammys is coming up. I just came from overseas with um, Gorgon City, and um, we did a collaboration together called Go All Night. Um, and I just did a guest appearance on the TV show Empire, so you can look for that. And if the show starts, no. No, January 7th, so look for that as well. And we yeah. we saw you perform It's Your World on The Voice, mm. and it was it's amazing. Well, that show's Thank been you. like crazy, yes. going, taking off. So what happens when you perform on a show like that? Does all of a sudden you just get, your, you see spikes in sales and all these things happen? You I always wonder. Yeah, yeah. Those things, you know, it's promotion, and it's also, I just love it, you know, being able to perform. And um, being a part of shows like that, like I was, I got to do quite a few uh, finales this year. It's like, oh, you're the finale queen. I did Dancing, Dancing with, the, with stars. the Stars, The Voice, America's Got Talent. So we've been really busy, you know? Uh, Jennifer, I mostly get to listen to kids' Bob CD, so I'm a little out of touch. But <laughs> yeah, I know, me too. When I was listening to that, it sounded kind of old school. Uh -huh. Am I am I hearing that right? Oh, definitely. You know, you're hearing the Chicago roots up in there, and especially with Issue World, it was written by R. Kelly, um, and it's a duet between him and I, and it's just, it touches home to our Chicago basis. It has a, that house feel to it, and it's about the groove, and it's called It's Your World, so make sure you check it out. And my new my new latest album is J-Hud, and it's out. You know, you can pick it up anywhere. You all, you all are so nice to come back and join us year after year for the toy drive Julia and uh, Jennifer what what was Christmas growing up for you guys I know that your mom just loved Christmas and it just instilled all these wonderful wow. values in both of you that we that we see year-round now Julie? <laughs> what was Christmas like well we used to get the pick we believed in Santa Claus yes so we used to tell her what we, we wanted her to tell Santa Claus what we wanted right so we would wake up in the morning and our toys, would be, we wake up like in the middle of the night, like yeah. two, three o'clock in the morning. And our toys would be up under the tree. She had a section, I had a section, and Jason had a section. <laughs> And the favorite part, it used to have ice on it as if Santa, well, Santa did bring it. Let me not say Santa. Right. Santa brought us our gifts. So, you know, we had a lot of fun when we were growing up with the holidays, and that's why we want to just make sure we give back because we never went without. My mother mm -hmm. always made sure we had, you know, and, and Julian did as well, and that's why we want to, she always taught us to take care of home, you know, and Chicago is our home, so we want to give back to our youth. What do you want people to remember about Julian? His name is, I love that he's, his name is attached to this mm. foundation. You talk about him every year. It's also got to be hard for you, but what, what do you want people to know about him? Well, Julian, well, that goes back to Hatch Day. The mm -hmm. reason why we do Hatch Day, because he loved to learn, he mm -hmm. loved to teach, and he loved to give. So in his honor, we're doing all the things that he loved. Mm -hmm. So I want people to remember that he was a child that cared about others. So definitely, we'll definitely yeah. remember him in that way. Yeah. Yep. 
And we're well, going to see Christmas. You know, all kids oh, love yes. Christmas, Christmas, right? Christmas, yeah. yeah, as they should. We're going to see little little David, your your David, <laughs> yeah. doing a Friday forecast in uh, a couple wait. of minutes. I can't wait. How, oh my God. How is he doing? I mean, how and how are you doing? You know, being a yeah. you know first time mom, yeah. a little David. The last time when I saw you guys at the uh, school supply drive, mm -hmm. uh, he was out there as superheroes and costumes <laughs> and. He's probably like the little mini Grinch right now, but it's good. You know, he's a, he's he's developing and he's coming into his own. You got to see him. I, I can't wait for you to see him, but um, it's fun. I can't believe I have a five-year-old and he's going to school and we have to get him to the bus stop. And it's like, mommy, he told me the other day, I think I want a girlfriend now. Oh, right. And I was like, oh, wow, is yes. that time? Okay, oh, God. sure. Oh, he's like, right? I want to take her out of the country on the plane. I was like, oh, out oh. of the country? On the plane? Okay. <laughs> so that's little David for you. <laughs> Julie, what's it like growing up with when, when your sister becomes so famous? I always wonder, you know, when we're on TV every now and then you're with your siblings and the, someone will come up to you and recognize you, and it's, it's on a much smaller scale. I always wonder when you're walking around with Jennifer, it's always like, can you sing with Jennifer? Can you sing just like her? Do you <laughs> What was it like growing sing, up? Do you, do you sing too? I sing, but it don't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what you mean. I know exactly what you She's mean. She's the funny one. And nobody Jokes understands up. or believes me when I say, no, I can't sing. Oh, you can sing. How you going to tell me what I can do? <laughs> 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 I cannot sing. <laughs> so, no. Do you like that? Just, just, just skip that gene just skips around I left a little it all bit. in there for her. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Jennifer, any, any movies on the horizon? Um, I'm looking for uh, that role, but... I, Wait a minute. I'm looking to do theater at the moment, so I might do Broadway soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Yep. It looks like it's just your voice lends itself so yeah. much to the theater. I can't believe, Thank have you. you done a lot of theater before? Or no, not really. Yeah. I can't believe it. The only theater experience I've had is at Marriott Lincolnshire, which is, you know, that's I, a great, yeah, it's a great yeah, theater. That's why I started. We go to time. That's you? why I started. I was 19 years old. They're when really I there. talented people there. It is. It's a great little Definitely. theater. Really, yep. it's yeah. a great theater. I want to go back and see some shows there, too. Yeah, I want to go back to there. Um, and then also, I worked on the Disney cruise ship as well, and that's the only theater experience I've had. Wow. But I know that theater world is extremely demanding in my lifestyle right now. You know, it's still demanding, but like when you're doing live productions Commitment. every day, yeah. you know, you have to be ready. So I really week, yeah. want to focus in, but I think it's a good place to be because that way I can do what I love and then be home yeah. with my son at the same time. I got to ask, what, what working on those cruise ships is like? That always seems like such an it, interesting it, world. I think it's good when you're young. You know, yeah. I mean, um, but, you know, as when I left, I told them, look, this is a once in a lifetime experience, yeah. never to be experienced by me again. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it, but, right. you know, time oh, yeah. to get tedious. Once is the key repetitive. word. Yeah. Yeah. I hear yeah. Goofy gets a little handsy. <laughs> 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 oh, do you see, I'm like that. Yeah. Don't catch me. I'm not going to. <laughs> hey, I did.